Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to start a new module in ANSYS that is about meshing. So whenever we had performed any analysis in ANSYS workbench, we have done the meshing. So now in this module, we will know about meshing in depth. So meshing is one of the most important part of finite element simulation. Whenever you are going to perform any simulation, in that simulation, meshing is one of the most important part. And generally, 70 to 80% of the time is spent in meshing of the component. Whenever we have a complex or large geometry, it is going to take a lot of time. And it is very important that we have a good meshing or very accurate meshing. So these are the general steps that are to be followed when we perform any analysis. First of all, we need a CAD model. The CAD model is basically the geometry and this part is called pre-processing. This is called pre-processing in finite element analysis. So after we import the CAD geometry, we need to discretize this. So this discretize is part is basically called the meshing. And in this meshing, we have, we have to select the type of element which we want. After we complete the meshing, we apply load and boundary condition and then we solve the problem. Now let's understand what is discretization. So we have two terms that are discretization and meshing. So when we use this finite element in academics, we call this as a discretization and in industry it is called meshing. So mesh generation is the practice of creating a mesh, a subdivision of a continuous geometry space into discrete geometry and topological cells. So in meshing, a large and complex geometry is broken into simpler shape. Let's say I have a plate like this. This is a large plate of any dimension. So what we do in meshing is we are going to break this. So let's say we are going to mesh this like this. So we are going to mesh it in small small rectangular sections. So the basic idea of meshing is to make calculations at only limited or finite element finite number of points and then interpolate the result for entire domain. Now let's understand how the software is going to solve these problems. So basically in meshing, we know that these corner points are called the nodes and these are called these cells are called elements. So we have two terms nodes and then we have element. So the software is going to generate a partial differential equation at each and every node. So let's say we are going to perform any analysis of this plate. So what software does is it is going to generate a differential equation at this node. Similarly, it is going to generate the solution at multiple nodes at all the nodes. And then to find out the result at the between points. It is going to interpolate the result on the entire domain on the or on the surface. So that is why the meshing is important. If we don't perform the meshing, the software is not going to interpolate the result properly. Why there is need of meshing and what are the advantages of create the mesh? So basically it determines the accuracy of the solution. The better we create the mesh, it is going to provide an accurate result. So, so the result of finite element simulation is heavily depend on the type of meshing. If our meshing is not good, we are not going to get a good and accurate result. Makes interpreting final result easier and or harder. With a good meshing, we can interpret the final result easier. And it plays a significant part in problem of overall runtime. 
so whenever we perform any simulation it is going to take a lot of time in solution so if our meshing is correct especially in problems like nonlinear problems whenever we have a contact between the bodies so if we have a good meshing and our meshing is a mapped meshing so the solution will converge and the overall runtime of the simulation reduces and if the meshing is not proper it is not going to converge and it increase or decrease the setup time so in the next lectures we are going to learn about different techniques of meshing in ansys workbench